Millionaire Robert Durst's extradition to L.A. could be delayed. He's facing murder charges after he appeared to admit guilt while wired to a microphone. KCAL 9's Christine Lazar is live in the Satellite Center with details. Christine. Sylvia, a handgun was found in Durst's hotel room in New Orleans, according to the police report. So his attorney says he could face separate charges there before he heads back to Los Angeles to face murder charges. A shocking confession. There it is. You're caught. That's what the producers of HBO's documentary on eccentric millionaire Robert Durst claim they captured when Durst went to the bathroom after an interview with a wireless microphone still recording. What the hell did I do? Kill them all. Of course. The director of the Jinx, Andrew Jarecki, was on CBS this morning and said his crew didn't immediately realize what was recorded. And it wasn't until months later that we had uh, an editor listening to material that we had just sort of left behind, thinking, well, now we've got to listen to everything we've got. We're about to finish the series. Jarecki says the audio was handed over to the LAPD, but only months later was Durst arrested. He is accused of killing his longtime friend Susan Berman back in 2000 at her home in Benedict. Canyon. Berman was going to be interviewed by police about the 1982 disappearance of Durst's wife Kathleen. Durst was arrested in New Orleans on Saturday, one day before the season finale of the Jinx. Outside a Louisiana courtroom this morning, Durst's attorney spoke to reporters. Uh, we uh, came here to uh, waive jurisdiction and to go back to California and to get it on. Bob Durst didn't kill Susan Berman. He's ready to end all the rumor and speculation and have a trial. Durst had another trial in 2003 in Texas. In that case, he was acquitted of the murder of his neighbor. As for the Berman case, the LAPD says they're relying on their own investigative work and not revelations in the HBO documentary. Live in the Satellite Center, I'm Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.